that joining us, stepping out of that hearing room, one of the gentlemen who will be questioning uh, Corzine today, Tim Johnson, Republican of Illinois, on the House Agricultural Committee. Congressman, welcome to the show. What will you ask John Corzine when he sits at that microphone before you today? I want to know where our constituents' money is. I want to know where uh, co-op's money is, where farm, uh, farm customers' money is. I want to know what he knew and when. I want to know why he will apparently hide behind the veil of the Fifth Amendment, at least in part. I want to know what his fiduciary role was and why he didn't discharge that, and why somebody who was entrusted with a major position of incredible responsibility, former governor, former senator, failed, absolutely failed in his responsibility, perhaps criminally failed in his responsibility to uh, farmers and others all over the country who are now feeling the ramifications for it. Despicable, unacceptable, and I want to know why. Uh, well, uh, Corzine is a son of Illinois, of your home state there. How many of your constituents have lost money and how much? A lot. We have uh, a number already who, who have communicated with us to the tune of millions of dollars. They don't know where their money is. They don't know where their money is going to be in terms of buying seed, buying land, buying equipment for the next year. They're simply holding the bag uh, because of this individual's or the systematic uh, irresponsibility, failure, and that's just simply unacceptable. Well, the conversation that you are having in the Agriculture Committee also gets to uh, the heart of a lot of the overhaul of regulation right now and having to do with derivatives. How is uh, this specific scandal affecting your approach to regulation? Well, affecting it dramatically. I want to know, for example, from the uh, CFTC uh, why they spend such an inordinate amount of time regulating a small farmer's uh, swaps or rural co-op swaps and yet completely failed in their oversight responsibility with respect to uh, major uh, money, billions of dollars, and consumers' money. To me, that's an incredible juxtaposition and a misprioritization that's just uh, uh, not, not acceptable. But where does the responsibility for that lie? You're blaming the regulators? You're blaming the, the marketplace? You're blaming the CEO? Who? Well, we, I think probably all of the above, but that's part of the reason we're having this hearing today. We want to find out what Corzine's role was. We want to find out what CFTC's role was. We want to find out what the uh, what system uh, blocks were built in, what system protections were built in, where it failed. And fr frankly, we want to know at the end of the day where our constituents' money is and what we're going to be able to do to protect individuals who in good faith uh, expended their lifetime savings uh, on an individual and a company and a system that has failed them bitterly. Do you think that the SEC and the CFTC were adequately funded and adequately staffed to protect your constituents and to protect those in the marketplace? Well, they have, they have indicated in the past that uh, they have the, the system built in, that they're uh, a functioning entity and that they're operating smoothly. And so I'm just happy to simply have to take them at their word. All right, uh, Congressman, we have to leave it there. I know you have to go back into uh, the committee hearing. We'll be watching and we'll be uh, waiting to hear just how John Corzine does respond to some of those questions.